Did you know, in 2023 alone, Canada welcomed over 437,000 new immigrants. You can't be serious! That's more than the entire population of some country. But here's the kicker. Is Canada really the land of opportunity that it promises to be? Or is it a trap filled with hidden challenges waiting to catch you off guard? This is not possible! Today, we are diving into the reality of immigration to Canada. Canada is globally recognized for its friendly people, stunning landscapes, and robust social services. But there is a side of this story that is not often talked about. No one ever talks about it. Serious challenges that can make life difficult for newcomers. Let's break it all down and see if Canada is truly the land of opportunity or if there are hidden hurdles that you need to be aware of before making that big move. First off, let's talk about the job market, one of the biggest hurdles for immigrants. Statistics shows that while 60% of immigrants arrive with a university degree, many find themselves in jobs that do not match their qualifications. Wait, are you kidding me? You in fact, over 50% of skilled immigrants in Canada are underemployed working in low-skilled jobs like retail or customer service. This is due to various factors like non-recognition of foreign credentials, lack of Canadian experience, and competition with locals who have similar or even fewer qualifications but are preferred by the employers. Next up, the cost of living. Canada is expensive, and I mean really expensive. Cities like Toronto and Vancouver are consistently ranked among the most unaffordable cities globally. In 2023, the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Toronto was around $2,600. And I can't believe I'm saying this is... Combine that with high cost of groceries, transportation, and other necessities, and you can see how quickly your savings might dwindle. And then there is the cultural adjustment. Moving to a new country means adapting to different customs, languages, and social norms. Studies have shown that over 30% of immigrants experience some form of culture shock, which can lead to feelings of isolation and anxiety. It's not a surprise. For instance, language barriers alone can be a significant hurdle. Around 20% of newcomers face language difficulties as a major challenge in their settlement process. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. There is some good news. Canada has it first especially when it comes to employment opportunities in certain sectors. For example, the tech industry is booming, with cities like Calgary, Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver being recognized as major tech hubs. Well, you're a computer geek. In 2023, Canada's tech sector employed over 2 million people. And this number is growing rapidly, with a lot of investments coming from international tech firms into Canada. If you have skills in IT, software development, or engineering, the job market might actually be in your favor. Before we go any further, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Subscribing to my channel is not gonna cost you anything, but it's gonna help me big time. Now back to our topic. Whatever you need to do, please do it. Just Canada also boosts one of the best healthcare system in the world. The public healthcare system is accessible to all permanent residents and citizens, meaning you won't have to worry about hefty medical bills. A huge relief for those moving from countries with less reliable healthcare. In fact, according to a 2023 study, 85% of Canadians are satisfied with the quality of healthcare they receive. Community support is another major advantage. Many local organizations and immigrant settlement agencies provide valuable resources, from language classes to job placement services. For example, the Immigrant Services Society of Alberta helped over 15,000 newcomers find employment in 2023 alone. That's a good work. These organizations also offer networking opportunities, which can be crucial in finding your footing in a new country. But 
let's not sugarcoat things. Despite the opportunities, many immigrants face significant struggle in their first few years. According to a 2023 survey by the Canadian government, about 25% of newcomers reported difficulties in securing housing even. The housing market is tight, with bidding wars and skyrocketing prices making it tough for immigrants to find affordable homes. I have no job, no place to live. Furthermore, the social integration process can be challenging for some. Studies show that immigrants take about 5 to 10 years to feel fully integrated into Canadian society, with many struggling with feelings of homesickness and exclusion. Now, let's bring this home with a real-life example. I recently came across the story of Raj, an engineer from India who moved to Canada in 2019. Raj was excited about starting a new life in Toronto, but the reality hit hard. Despite his qualification and 10 years of experience, Raj could not find a job in his field. Employers kept asking for Canadian experience, something he did not have. After months of job hunting and numerous rejections, Raj ended up working in a call center, a far cry from the engineering job he had back in India. Did he make the right decision moving to Canada? He did not give up. He enrolled in a bridging program designed to help internationally trained engineers gain the credentials needed to work in Canada. After two years of hard work, he finally landed a job as an engineering technician. His story is not unique. It's a testament to the resilience and determination that many immigrants have to muster to succeed in Canada. While the journey is full of challenges, the reward can be significant for those who persist. He now earns a good salary, owns a home, and is well on his way to achieving his Canadian dream. So, what's the bottom line? Is Canada a terrible choice for immigrants? Well, it's a mixed bag. The challenges are definitely there. Job market hurdles, high living costs, and cultural adjustments are all significant obstacles. But at the same time, the opportunities for growth and a better quality of life are also substantial. According to a 2023 study, 78% of immigrants who have been in Canada for over 10 years report that they are satisfied with their life in the country, despite the initial struggles. And I myself is an example of that. It really depends on your personal situation, your skills, and how well you can adapt to the new environment. Canada offers a lot, but it also demands a lot from those who choose to make it their new home. Now that we have unpacked this topic, I want to hear from you. Have you or someone you know immigrated to Canada? What was the experience like? Share your stories in the comment below so we can discuss. And if you are curious about other countries and their immigration stories, don't forget to check my next video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.